The viewports and the view box are one of the important concepts of SVG to understand. So let's start off with the viewport. The viewport is the visible area of the SVG image. An SVG image can logically be as wide and height as you want, but only a certain part of the SVG can be visible at a time. The area that is visible is called the viewport. You specify the size of the viewport using the width and height attributes of the SVG element. So, for example, we can add a height and width attribute to the SVG element and change the viewport. Or we can do it with CSS, so if we target the SVG element in CSS and give it, for example, this height and a width of 200 pixels. And now let's move to the view box. The view box is not like the viewport. It is what the SVG element uses to draw its element. And you define the view box inside the opening tag of the SVG. Using the view box attribute, here is set for different values. The first two values are for the starting points and the last two values are for the end points. And when you define a view box, you define what you can call a grid or a coordinate system that allow you to draw your elements. So here I have chosen 0, 0, 100, 100. So now we have a coordinate system that starts from 0, 0 and goes to 100, 100. And we can reference to this coordinate when we draw an element. If we take this line as an example, it starts from x1 equals to 0, which is here, and y1 equals to 0, which is here, and goes to x2 100, y2 100, which is here. But if we try a different value, for instance, if we change the value of x2 and set it to 90, you can notice that the second point moved here. So we have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, which gives us the value of x2 and y2 is equal to 100. So we have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So x2, 90, and y2, 100 gives us this point. If we give a different value to the y2, for instance, a value of 10, this will move the second point here. So we have x2 equals to 90. We count from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Then for the y coordinate, we have 10. So we have 0, 10, and it gives us this point. Let's change the value for the first point. For instance, x1 equals to 10, y1 equals to 20. This will give us the following point. And now let's do something different. If we give a value of 10, 10, 100, 100 to the view box attribute instead of giving it a value of 0, 0, 100, 100, we have the following result. Now our element moves and it looks like we are cropping it and only showing the grid from 10, 10 to 100, 100. If we choose a value of 10, 10, 80, 80, we have the following cropping. 